Hi everyone, Miss Janet here from the Bryant Library, here to bring you another craft that I think you should be able to do at home with your children. So we're going to use our glue and crayons, and we'll need one of our little sandwich brown bags and buttons. And this is what the craft will look like. So this is my button tree. And what I've already done was I already took my bag and I just traced a big tree limb on it, but you can even make a tree if you'd like. So I've traced it and I've already cut it out. And we have our white construction paper. And this is where we're going to create our craft. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our big tree limb and we're just going to put some glue all across each of the branches okay and when you trace it you should have your grown-up cut it out for you and I said, I said you can do a tree branch or you can do a tree if you'd like it's your creation so I'm going to take my tree limb and I'm just going to place it on my white construction paper So it looks just like that. I'm just going to press down. Okay. And if you need some more glue, just put a little bit more glue. Okay. All right. And now we're going to take our buttons and we're just going to put the buttons on all of the branches. And you can use as many as you'd like, any color that you want, it's your creation. So I'm just gonna start to put some glue in different parts of my tree limb. And I have some big buttons, just like that. And we'll try and fill up our branches and create a really nice full tree. If you have color buttons, that would be fantastic. You can make maybe a tree that looks like um, an autumn tree or spring or summer, whatever you'd like. So you put buttons all around and just fill it up really nicely. Okay, let's put some here and here, put some down here. You'll have to press down really hard on the buttons. Okay. You can take big ones and small ones, whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to put some here, some up here. Could be a little bit messy, but it's, it's fun. Have fun with it. Here, let's see. I can't forget this one. And we'll put one here. So it's getting there. Looks pretty nice. Maybe I'll put another one here. And maybe one here. A nice green button. Let's just do a few more. And as I said, you can put as many as you like. It's your tree. And we'll put one up here. Right up here. And let's see, how about one up here? Okay, so my tree's coming along. So I think what we'll do now is let's add some color to it. I'm just going to take some green and why don't we just do some nice grass. We'll add a little color to our picture. that. 
and some blue for the sky. If you want to do a sun, you can put a sun. Looks pretty nice. And then maybe you want to put some flowers. So I have two purple and one red button. So I'm going to take some glue, put some glue there. I think we'll make a flower. I'm going to take my purple button and my green crayon. And we'll make a pretty flower. If you have chalk, you can do chalk. So there's one flower. Let's do another flower up here. And I'll get my red button. And make our flower. And I'll do one more purple. So let's just do it right here. Okay. It's coming along very nicely. I'm sure you're doing a wonderful job with yours. It's nice and spring and it's warm out. And there you have it. So you've created your own button tree. And if you don't have buttons at home, you can just take crayons and you can make leaves on your branch. And then what I also do is I took some brown and I just colored in a little bit of the tree just to make it a little bit darker, but you don't have to do that. So that's our new craft for this week. That's my button tree. And I hope you enjoy doing it. And until we meet again, please be safe be well. Please make sure you visit our um, web page and see some of the other fun things that we've been putting together, our story times and book talks that we've been doing. You can go to our Libby app and download some wonderful children's books for middle grades readers and also picture books. Please look at um, our Instagram page for a lot of good things that we've been putting out there. So until we meet again, please be safe. I miss everybody, and I'll see everyone soon. Bye.